The Smiles of the Bathers by Weldon Keyes, 1914 to 1955. The smiles of the bathers fade as they leave the water, and the lover feels sadness fall as it ends as he leaves his love. The scholar Closing his book as the midnight clock strikes is hollow and old. The pilot's relief on landing is no release. These perfect and private things walling us in have imperfect and public endings. Water and wind and flight, remembered words and the act of love are but interruptions, and the world, like a beast, impatient and quick, waits only for those who are dead. No death for you. You're involved. Okay, this poem is by uh, Weldon Keys. Let's see, he was an American poet. He was born and brought up in Nebraska. Um, he uh, sadly disappeared in uh, 1955 in California and was never seen, seen or heard of again. <clears throat> so what's this poem about? Well, the first thing, uh, the, the title of this reminds me of um, The Bathers, by, the painting by Surat. Um, but I think what's this about? I think this poem is about endings. And that we, our, our life is full of episodes um, that end. But in fact, these aren't endings. These are just little pauses before we continue to the next thing. And the only real ending is death. And while we are alive and doing our thing, then these are just pauses between different interludes. And although it feels like the end of something to us, it's not the end at all. It's just a pause. The smiles of the bathers fade as they leave the water. So if you've been bathing, if you've been swimming in the water, you've been enjoying yourself, but when you leave the water, then that enjoyment has gone. It's past. But on to the next thing. And the lover feels sadness fall as it ends, as he leaves his love. So, and lovers, they are together and they're happy with each other and they're enjoying. But then, at some point, one of them has to go. Maybe temporarily, maybe permanently. But this is a, a sadness because it's the end, the end of what they were doing. But it's not, this is just a pause. The scholar closing his book as the midnight clock strikes is hollow and old. So, so somebody who's been reading his book, yeah, and the clock strikes midnight and the scholar, he closes his book um, because it's time to go to bed. Yeah, and that's the end of it. But it's not. Tomorrow again he can pick up his book and start again. The pilot's relief on landing is no release. So the pilot has, has done his trip, he's landed his plane. But this is not the end. He's going to continue flying. There will be more flights. These perfect and private things walling us in have imperfect and public endings. So these wonderful things, yeah, these private things that um, put uh, limits on our lives, yeah, these aren't endings. They're, the ending is imperfect. It's not an ending. It's a, a very public thing that will continue. Water and wind and flight, remembered words and the act of love. So all of these, these are different uh, moments in your life, a moment of water, a moment of wind, a moment of flight. And what he's saying is there are no endings while we're alive. These are but interruptions. Yeah, these are just little episodes. And the world, like a beast, impatient and quick, 
waits only for those who are dead. And the world, the only real in um re the re only real ending in this world is death and there is nothing else so no death for you when you get out of the water or you leave your lover yeah this isn't a death because you're involved you're still thinking about it it's something that still goes on so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Smiles of the Bathers by Weldon Keyes